In this video, we'll go over how to declare JavaScript variables. In computer science, data is anything that is meaningful to the computer. When you are working as a developer and you're building an application, you need ways to reference and update your data. And there's going to be a lot of data in your application. An example of a piece of data um, in an application might be, say, the Twitter app. And your username is one piece of data within that app. JavaScript provides eight different data types, which are undefined, null, boolean, string, symbol, big int, number, and object. Okay, this seems like a lot at first, and I think it can seem very overwhelming, but we'll learn more about these later on. And it's okay if it just seems like a lot right now. I think it takes a bit of time to sink in and start understanding. Okay, so here's an example on how computers distinguish between numbers, such as the number 12 and strings such as 12, dog, or one to three cats, right? Okay, so JavaScript can tell that this is a number, the number data type, and that this is a string, the string high. And it also notes that computers can perform mathematical operations on a number, but not on a string. And this kind of makes sense, right? So if you want to console log um, two times two, we can see four appears down here. But what if you turn these into strings, right? That doesn't make sense. Um, we don't know what, say, high times high would be. And this kind of ends up erroring out as uh, NAN, not a number. Variables allow computers to store and manipulate data in a dynamic fashion. They do this by using a label to point to the data rather than using the data itself. I think this is a great mental model for how to see variables. So variables are a label that point to a value. Think about your Tupperware container. Um, say it has, you know, my name on it, Madison, and then it's pointing at this value of whatever food is inside. Similarly, you might have um, a container that says lasagna as the label, and it's pointing to the value inside, which is the lasagna itself. Variables are similar to the X and Y variables you use in mathematics, uh, which means they're a simple name to represent the data we want to refer to. Computer variables differ from mathematical variables in that they can store different values at different times. Again, if this seems confusing or overwhelming at first, um, that's okay. I think that's pretty normal, and we'll learn much more about variables later. Okay, so let's get to the challenge. We tell JavaScript to create or declare a variable by putting the keyword var in front of it, like so, var our name. So this creates a variable called our name. Now, this is just declaring the variable. We are not yet having this variable point to any value. And sometimes you want to do that when you're coding. You want to just create a variable that later on will point to some sort of value, such as a number or a string. And I feel that's important to note if you're wondering, why do we need to just declare a variable? Okay, next it says in JavaScript, we end statements with semicolons. You can think of a semicolon just like as a period as you would uh, in normal English or whatever language, right? So you say, hello, period, and this period is signifying the end of the sentence. And in just the same way, you can think about this code sentence, the semicolon ends it. If you don't see semicolons in some code that you look at, say you go and look at someone's JavaScript project, and they have no semicolons, um, that's because they are optional. But for now, we're just going to use them. OK, so let's get to the challenge. Use the var keyword to create a variable called my name. So we'll write out var my name, and we won't forget our semicolon to end this. Now, if you're wondering why we have this n capitalized, this is called camel case. And it's kind of a standard for how to write variable names in JavaScript. So in camel case, the first letter of the first word is lowercased, like this M, and then the rest of the letters, the first letters in the rest of the words are capitalized. Okay, let's run this code, and I'll see you in the next lesson.